So once again, hey, I'm Captain Bob. And I'm Arlo. And again, we're from Wisconsin Iowa Radio, and we're on the Fonz FM. Yep. But we're here at the SEMA 2019 show in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're here with our good friend, and we hope he's our good friend, but Jay Leno. <laughs> well, after, he's not going to lend you any money, but still good friends. <laughs> well, after we soaked him. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's exactly. right. <laughs> exactly. That's very true. So, you know, Jay, this morning we were with the... Uh, New product breakfast that you did this morning. Oh, right, right. And, uh, you know, again, you know, we appreciate you being here with us today. But uh, we got to ask that quick question. Was there any product that you saw there this morning that you kind of thought was really kind of cool? No, I, I, I didn't get a chance to see a lot of the okay. products. I, I was backstage, and I just came out when they announced okay. me. So oh. I, I got here late. I had to do some other things. So I didn't see any of the products. Actually. Well, you know, it was kind of cool because you kind of talked about the 3D printer, and you kind of mentioned yeah. about that, that. You know, that's what's mm -hmm. kind of neat about it is. Well, that, that's the future. Yeah. You don't have to find that part anymore. You can actually produce that part. Well, you know, the really cool thing about 3D printing is, like in the space shuttle now, they don't send parts up anymore. Oh. They send raw materials, and when they need a part, they just send... Yeah. And it, the 3D printer is on the space right shuttle, okay. and it makes a part up there. Kind of oh. like the atomizer on the Star Trek. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty neat. I mean, you realize you don't have to carry all these spare parts. Right. All you need is the raw material, and then you make the part. I right. mean, yeah. it's really the future. Well, know? when you it get really to is. food, I'm all in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the day of the jets and you press the button and the steak <laughs> dinner comes out. Cop, uh, cup yeah. of coffee. Yeah, I don't think Cup that's and the, the coffee. That's still a ways off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's Darn very it. true. Darn so, but, you know, you've been coming to SEMA for quite a few years, and, you know, we appreciate it, uh, you being here. It's uh, fun. You know, whatever, what kitchen? Is your eye here when you're at Seaman? I know later on today you're going to be at the Hot Wheel booth also too. Be at the Hot Wheel booth. I just like seeing the innovations. I like seeing the stuff uh, folks are doing. You know, and I like the fact that it's an emphasis on American manufacturing, American ingenuity. You really stressed that today. Well, yes. it's really because I mean it's just the one place where a little guy can invent something. Yeah. And show it to the, literally the whole industry. Yeah. You know, there are guys that make odd tools. You know, weird yep. tools only fit in one application, mm -hmm. but yeah. everybody needs one of those, right. you know? Right. And where do you go? You could go to Snap-on, you go to, well, you, you know, there's yeah. a lot of not invented here and stuff. You bring it here and the whole automotive community can see it and yeah. go, hey, that guy's pretty cool. Let's 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 check that out. And what's know? interesting is the everyone attracts. Somehow we always sit at a table with people we have in common. Right. No matter right. where you go, exactly. it's kind of cool. Right, right. We're all bad dressers. I mean, <laughs> oh come on! You don't like our fashion show. You don't. You don't like our. No, I just. You don't like our blue outfits. That guys with the same T-shirt we <laughs> saw last year. We got you know, blue. I mean, that's what I like. It's strictly, uh, <laughs> it's strictly cars and automobiles. And this really is the golden age right now. I mean, I think people will look back yeah. at this decade as really innovative. I mean, as I was saying before, you've got cars with. Seven, eight, hundred, nine hundred yeah, no, horsepower. horsepower. I mean, yes. a thousand horsepower the is right line. around the corner. I, I mean, but you've also got the brakes and the handling to go with it. Yeah. You know, that was the thing when we were kids in the '60s. Now you get in your GTO, okay, and you take it up to hundred. You hit the brake and you sail right through that exactly. stop sign. Yeah, that's very true. I, I mean, you know, single cylinder back, you know, brake cylinder there. Yeah, you I, just kept going. You know, kids don't even know what brake fade is. I, I remember <laughs> having that. You know, yeah. just stepping on the brake and just, just. Keep going, like what? What's going on? Yeah, you know, waiting for that brake to cool off. It was those butter pads that we had on our oh, brakes. Yeah. Huh? Like even now, when I drive my old Jags and stuff, I use the transmission as the brake, just yeah. okay. because I'm always yeah. consciously. I know I've got three stops before the fade starts to come in, <laughs> and, the, and, and, and it'll and it'll cool, yeah. cool the So now you've got you've got every kind of unique disc brake. I mean. This new Mustang has 760. It's unbelievable, miles. isn't it? Yeah. Yes. You know, for us to have thought of that years ago, it been you get you're you're a drag racer. That's what you are. And now yeah. it's coming from the from the companies, right? Oh yeah, I can remember the days when uh, car companies would say disc brakes. What are you an airplane? What are you going right, to right, right, exactly. Right, what right. do you need that for? You know, uh, people really didn't look at the whole package. They just looked right. at yeah. at performance. You exactly. know, when you bought a Hemi in 66, you got a 90-day warranty. Yeah. And if they <laughs> find out you were racing it, yeah, that's That's void. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, now, I mean, they want you to says, race it. Go out there, beat the hell out of this thing, and you still got your full warranty yeah. and everything. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 pretty amazing. It's it's amazing how far the industry has come. And I love the fact that it's all engineers now. Yeah. Yes. You know, right. I was at the introduction of the new Corvette, and usually that, 10 or 15 years ago, they'd be the marketing guy with the, the stripe package and the little <laughs> cartoon character right, package right, and yeah, right. all that kind of stuff. Those guys, I mean, I think they still exist, but <laughs> it, when I was at the, it, at the, at the Corvette, it was all engineers. This is a guy from 
uh, noise, vibration, harshness. This is a guy from handling. This is a guy from brakes. And it, it wasn't one of those things. You know, a lot of times they'd have a marking and guy hovering by, and the guy would say something. Well, no, what he meant to say was yeah, yeah, it is very yeah. similar to the race yeah. package. You know, now it is the race right. package. Now you get, and that's what's really great. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm real impressed with. American well, the access to knowledge right. that we have now, too. You kind of mentioned it this morning also, too, at the breakfast about, you know, with some of the celebrities that we've had now in the news that got in a car crash. Right. And, uh, you know, but they're making the cars a lot more safer. These are not just what you're stating. Yeah. These cars are more safer to drive with all that horsepower and the braking, everything that's out there. You can drive this car any place and yeah, not, and, not be worried. And make no mistake, there are people just watching. They yeah, watch these no. cars and coffee videos where the idiot pulls out, yeah. nails it. Slides yep, across yep. the road and hits the Audi yep. parked on the yep. other side. Right. I mean, we all laugh at it yeah. because you got how stupid you are. But, you know, all you need is, you know, some guy to hit a school bus full of nuns and the whole thing ends yep. tomorrow. Yeah. Exactly. You or know. it takes nuns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. Just to. <laughs> Not a dog. Just, just to put a little. But no, the dog doesn't <laughs> You know, but, but I mean, but that's, I mean, that's where you yeah. are. There are people just waiting yeah. For the next big thing, yeah. so they oh, if you save one life, you know that kind of deal. I mean, it happened in the seventies. I went through that with with Jimmy Carter when they put the eighty five mile an hour speedometer. They actually thought by putting that speedometer, nobody would go faster, faster. than right, that. Right, 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 right. Well, then you don't know how fast you're going. You yeah, know, you're doing one hundred and ten. Are you doing ninety? What are you doing? You know. Yeah. I mean, it, it's crazy because they all they just, they like immediate answers. So we have to police ourselves and be responsible. Well, you're you're yeah. in a state though that really watches oh. California. I mean, oh, they're watching California. everything, the noise, you name it, everything. Yeah, I mean, California is unbelievable. Yeah. I mean. I mean, that's the great thing about SEMA. They protect the rights of, yes. of, of the car owners and the builders and all that kind of stuff. Uh, like, you go to Australia now, and you cannot, a vehicle must have the engine and drivetrain it came with. Yeah. If you have a 32 Ford with a 283 Chevy, nope. No, yeah. you got to put the four stone. We'll yeah, and if it's in. starting there, it's coming this way. And yeah, right. One that's state right. to the that's next. That's right. I mean, in, yeah. in, in Australia. You get caught doing a burnout, they seize the car. That You lose it. Yeah. You lose it. Now, I'm heard, not saying yeah. they do it in every case, but, you know, they, and some, some guy doing a bad donut in the middle of the street, boom, that's it. Yeah. That car gets crushed, and it's gone. Yeah. And we're not that far away from, from that. No, you we're know? not. Well, you know, we've got to tell you, Jay, that we're actually battling that in the state of Wisconsin right now. We've actually got our state police are looking at 32 Fords. If they don't have fenders, they don't have a hood. They can't be on the road. Right. right, right. They have to have the fenders and the hoods on there. And we're kind of, you know, struggling with that right now, trying to make sure that these cars can stay on the road. Because, again, a lot of those cars, when they were built in 32 and they're being now reconstructed, are a lot more safer. Right, right. So. And, and here's the thing. The statute in our state says it's okay. Yeah. It's the, pr- the state troopers that are interpreting it the way they want wrong to. wrong way. So well, that's yeah. another thing is the interpretation of these laws. Well, the nice thing is most... State troopers are kind of car guys, I find. But it, oh, yes, yeah. they yes, are. in they California, are. so it, it's not. I mean, y- you know, it, it's just common sense. And then you have, on our side, the idiots that go way out of their way. I remember back in the 80s, there was a thing where you know, when there were so many cars you couldn't bring mm-hmm. in. They yep. had a, a one car, you can, they, it, one European car, let's say a Ferrari, that did not meet U.S. spec. You were allowed to bring one car in in your lifetime. And oh, is that right? Yeah, the, the gray market law was called. Okay. Well, yeah, then, then you okay. had car companies going to old folks' homes, getting all these old people to sign up and order, <laughs> so order a car. You know, La Ferraris and every other kind of thing. <laughs> On you know. Social Security. Yeah, yeah. and then they, <laughs> so, yeah, they, they, they put an wow. end to that. So there's always people going to there's always people going to abuse it. You yeah, know? yeah, right. That's yeah. that that's the hard part because, you know, people wouldn't even pay attention to our sport or our hobby yeah. if there weren't people out there abusing it you know exactly. and, oh, yeah. and that's, that's very the true. thing you just gotta you gotta police yourself you know when i go to some of these car events and it's just guys just doing burnouts like guys stop yeah, yeah just, exactly and the cops come and then everybody gets rounded up and you're just there with your flathead ford okay. you know it's that's not a it's like anything responsibility that's yeah, what you exactly. gotta have there exactly so, you know we got to talk a little bit about also to jay's garage you have a great show out there because i think what a lot of people love about your show is your old school your new your yeah. new school you talk about not only just cars, you talk about trucks, you talk about boats, you talk about anything about it, uh, you know. Well, I mean, I think it's uh, everybody has a varied interest, you know. It's like uh, what the guys like rock and roll, some guys like rap. Hey, they're both music, right. okay? Yeah, right. Yeah. And, and you either accept the other or you don't, you know. 
like people always are surprised that I'm a big electric car guy. They go, how could you be? The? Well, because that's the future. That's <laughs> yep. what it's going to yeah. be. I mean, steam ran everything from 1800 mm -hmm. to 1911. Everything was steam powered. And then internal combustion came in. Well, I mean, where I think we're, I don't know if we're in the final throes of internal combustion, but I hope not. the writing is on the wall. Yeah, right. I mean, I think what will happen is your Ferrari, your, your Shelby Mustang will become like a snowmobile or a recreational vehicle. Use it on the weekends, you know? Okay. I mean, if you're commuting in downtown LA traffic where the speed limit is 25 miles an hour, really, and do you really need bumping that? Over, why do you need seven and six? So you, like, I have a Tesla. I just use that to run around and go everywhere, mm -hmm. and it's fine. It costs. I went from eighty bucks a week in gas to ten bucks mm -hmm. in electricity, mm -hmm. and okay, that's perfect. But then I go work on my car and I take it out. You know. Yeah. So and I, I think that's probably what's going to happen. I mean, I, I think it's fair to say a kid born today will probably never have ridden in a standard shift car. Yeah. Or even in right. a... Unless they go ride with Grandpa. Uh, right. Or if even I'm still in, alive. Or, or right. even an internal combustion engine yeah. car. Yeah, yeah. Because everything will be mostly some form of hybrid, I think. Something. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, you taught us a uh, famous saying that we tell us a lot of people. We tell them, Jay tells us that you're yeah. a motorhead. When you hear somebody start up a lawnmower, you turn around to look. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you told us that in we remember the Dells, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's that? Everyone so turns their head. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. The lawnmower. <laughs> right, right, exactly. You, exactly. Know, hey, you, you know, got to start somewhere. <laughs> yeah. 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 We know we don't have a lot of time with you today because you're going to be very busy and you're booked I'm solid here. I'm here, whatever you want. So, but uh, <laughs> something we want to give to you because yeah. when what you were that? here in Wisconsin, we actually were at a show with you at the automotive show. You know show. something? I love that car show. Thank you. You know what I loved about that car show? Why? Is well, you go to Pebble Beach and it's all millionaires competing against yeah. billionaires. Yeah, I went to that show and it was all aspirational. It was guys sitting around discussing what they're going to build when the kids get out of college, yeah. what they're going to do when they retire. Right. You know, it was six cylinder Pontiacs in the, the pouring rain. Engine. In the pouring rain, yeah. I mean, they were just old cars that were nicely maintained. Yeah. Do you know we uh, we harassed the gentleman? There you go. See? Oh, that's funny. That, there, you there you are. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Arlo man. does the hard work on it. Yeah, there you go. Well, well, matter of fact, we're going to give you a set of all of our posters. Every we year, do. we pick an, uh, something that happened the past year, yeah. and we do a commemorative poster. Yeah. That was phenomenal. You not only came, <laughs> but you stayed through the whole. Well, yeah. I really enjoyed it. I just, enjoyed, I just enjoyed talking to people, you know. Yeah. Um, I grew up in New England, and that a lot of people were like that, you know. Yeah. And it was guys that were plumbers and carpenters and you know, they got their responsibilities out of the way. The kids are almost grown. Yeah. And oh, boy, they're looking forward to that time they can spend in the mm -hmm. garage to fix up that Nova or whatever it yeah. is they yeah. have. You know, nobody's talking Ferrari and Lamborghini. They're talking Falcon and Nova. <laughs> and, <laughs> no, but I like that. That's I mean, the show. That was you know, the show. To me, that's what makes a real car show. You know, I, I hate going to one-make shows, you know, like just Mustangs. You know? I agree. And I go, what the, what's that? You know, yeah. I, I want to see the... The oddball four-door sedan in there and all that kind of stuff. Do you stuff. remember? You probably don't with everything you've done. You surprised the, the guy. The, the, you surprised the guy. Yeah. Uh, it was raining. He wouldn't roll the window down. 64. And you walked. GTO. He was sitting there. Oh, you yeah. You walked up to the car. You said, roll the window down. He put it down just about a little quarter bit, of an inch. A little yeah. bit. You were talking to him about the car. You, you knew said, everything about the you car. You said, put the window down a little more. He put it down maybe another quarter wouldn't of get an out. inch. Yeah. And then you finally said, you know, I'm going to present your car with the trophy. Yeah. Oh, the okay. We walked okay, away. And a guy, and a guy opened the door and got out. You're Jay Leno. <laughs> he, he goes, why would Jay be standing in the rain <laughs> in the middle of Wisconsin? And yeah. you surprised him. We harass him to yeah. this day oh, that he would funny. not roll his window down for you. Well, to me, but that's the heart and soul of the hobby. I mean, yeah. that's the real. Yeah. But you, know. you, you stayed with us. Yeah, you went you through the rain, oh, well, thanks. cars, well, you and know, you're a real I, car guy. We had a, we had a, uh, a car show in uh, Rhode Island in the Audrain Auto Museum. And it was a high-end Pebble Beach car show. But we started something. And it was kind of my idea. I thought it was good. It called 30 Under 30, okay. which it was uh, young people 30 years old and younger who spent no more than $30,000 nice. in their car. Nice. And we found a bunch of cars, BMWs, C10, Chevy pickup, and we invited them to this uh, event like Pebble Beach. And these kids were so stunned that their car yeah. was on the field next to Ferraris yes. and Bugattis, and, and um, one kid was crying. Another kid brought his parents, and his parents said, well, oh, this, well, this, he got invited to this, uh, because somebody, pre, you know, the parents didn't really understand why the kid was fixing up a 2002 right. BMW. Right. Okay. But uh, they were, oh, when, when they saw the respect yeah. that he got from the older guy, you know, a lot of the older guys, uh, the checkbook restoration guys are walking over and giving them, 
you know, high fives and <laughs> checkbook restoration. Well, like, can know, I use that? Yeah, no, yeah. no, I we know exactly. Yeah. What but it, but about. it's true. It's why I don't enter a lot of my cars and car shows anymore because I can afford to have somebody do it right, and I don't want to compete against a guy with cans of Rust-Oleum, you know, spray paint. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, it, right. it doesn't seem fair. You know, and, and, I mean, the whole hobby is is, is the involvement. In it, you know, yeah. but these kids were so excited to be included with all these yeah. quote fancy cars mm -hmm. that their car was seen as something desirable yeah you know i i, I, I people always wonder why i get annoyed at ferraris but <laughs> a, a buddy of mine <laughs> bought a mondio which is probably the cheapest ferrari you can get it's that four-door okay. convertible right you can probably get them for 30 grand something okay like that okay yeah. and the young guy and he's all excited he went to ferrari meet and they looked at him like what is this? Like it's a Model T, you know? Mm. <laughs> is, you know, it's a Ferrari. Well, no, this is. I mean, he was treated so terribly. And yeah. I, I said to these guys, "What? Do you, it's a young guy. I mean, it's his first car. Is a Ferrari. He can't afford, you know, a two seventy five GTB. Right. You know, I. I mean, I, it just made me angry. You know. So to me, we need to include everybody. Oh, and can we stop playing fun, fun, fun by the Beach Boys? constantly at these car shows you know thank you I, I see i see i see kids like 19 go i wanted to go to that show but man that music i mean to them it's like it's like old guys listening to the rap they don't get it yeah yeah, right? yeah. And, you know yeah. And they're, i'm gonna surf city I just, what are you, <laughs> shut up i mean the kids just run away you know, just turn, 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 turn like a little thing you cranked <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah turn that crap off you know but it, it really it really makes me laugh but i really love that wisconsin show i just like thank the you. fact that everybody sort of drove something there and they got the hibachi going the guy's got yeah. a couple of beers and you sit around in yeah. a rainy tent and it's all bench <laughs> racing everybody lying about who they, <laughs> who they blew off in the, the drags and that's, and but that's what we it's enjoy about. it so much in wisconsin we have a short season there so we yeah. enjoy just driving our cars getting yeah, them out there. and it was really good and they were nothing nothing was perfect but everything was really nice right. you know yeah, right, uh, i mean it was just it was fun to see so yeah i i had a great time that day I thank really you for coming it. yes we just put away our vehicles because we got put them away for storage yeah, yeah. In five inches of snow. Yeah. Really? Just imagine yeah, a hot rod. Halloween day. Halloween five day. Five inches of snow. Yeah. Going to put them in storage because yep. it's you know, 20 <laughs> miles away to do it. I know. And you're slipping and sliding well, in an old Ford. Kind of the same. I was in L.A. yesterday, and the wind chill was about 78. Oh, so you poor oh, guy. Oh, yeah. 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 You yeah. had to roll the window up? No, I had to roll my <laughs> sleeve down because there, there was a slight chill. There was a bit of, just enough of a chill yeah. in the air. Oh, let me put my yeah, sleeve down. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, but, <laughs> but that's the great thing about California. It is. As nutty a state as it is, you can drive all year round. And, and, uh, yeah. And, and the it. fun part is, like, I, there was a 65 Buick Skylark that I pass every day on the street. I see it parked. And I wonder who owns it. Finally, I saw the guy. And I said, hey, you doing? Uh, you, he wasn't a collector. He bought it new. <laughs> oh, no <laughs> kidding? just his car. Really? Because it's California. Yeah. There's no rain. It doesn't yeah. rust. Yeah. He just drove it. Just drove it and had a good time. I would imagine the yeah. car wash industry is not very hot out there. You guys have to wash it, what, once a year, the car, and never have to wash it again? Um, no, actually, there's a... Uh, you know, it, it's sort of the car culture state, so people do take, do, do take well, care of their Well, you've got the products right. for it. Yeah, yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah that's doing really well, too. Good. Yeah. We're happy I'm for really you. I'm really excited about that. It, and it's fun. It's fun when you create something yeah. and then, oh, people like it. Because I, I, I really make my money doing other stuff, show business stuff. And this is just like a side thing. Just the people like it and people keep reordering it and it's doing really well Good. so I'm, I'm excited about that yeah. Good to hear. well Jay we're getting the word here that uh, we got to kind of wrap it up here really All right, soon thanks guys no thank you no, we thank appreciate you, it again thank it's you, always gentlemen. an honor to have you always. on our show yeah hopefully I can make that show again sometime definitely we, well we're going to hopefully you're going to be in Wisconsin again. next year yeah. oh okay we, we understand. understand you're coming up to the casino up there somewhere uh, in yeah. north oh good good okay yeah, we'll meet you up there we All right, we'll bring a bunch of our friends sounds good we're going to cut out for another station breaker and we're going to be back with some more people from SEMA of 2019